So what's your excuse now? What excuses are you telling yourself that's stopping you from becoming the best version of yourself? Or venturing out there and doing what you're supposed to be doing? Let me hear them. Like, for real, let me hear your excuses. <laughs> Ownership and greatness. What's good? What's good? This is you already know. What's good? Ownership and greatness family. You already know it's another episode. I'm your host Joe Chege, and this is the first episode for 2022. Like I'm super pumped up for this year. We had a great year last year and this year is going to be special. It's going to ta- like we're taking this to the next level. Like I promise you, uh, my goal is to continue to impact people's life by sharing great stories about people who stepped out of their comfort zone and decided to become great in their different ventures and were able to build ownership through uh, the hustle, through their business through the actions in life so you already know this year is gonna be jam-packed with so much information so much knowledge and hopefully we also gonna be uh, getting great guests from different parts of the world who are gonna be able to share this platform with us and tell us their stories of how they were able to become the best version of themselves so 2022 we are taking it to the next level and i know it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be great so you better be ready because we are gonna be bringing in a ton of heat 2022 we are taking it to the next level and i believe you're also gonna be able to take your business your brand uh, your creativity to the next level you got that in you and i believe in you uh so for today's segment i just wanted to to talk about uh living a meaningful life because i feel like uh, as we start a new year it's good to always reflect and and plan accordingly and also ask ourselves how can we live a meaningful life like what's stopping us from accomplishing our goals and aspirations in life so uh for me uh the most important thing or my philosophy is uh the way to living a meaningful life is by devoting myself to create things that uh help me or give me purpose and meaning in life because i believe the only way you're gonna live a meaningful life is by doing things that actually give you the fulfillment the things that give you the joy the things that actually give you a a vibe where you feel like yes i woke up today i was able to do the things that I, i i i had planned to go out there and do and these are the results because I feel like the all every time we we feel like we're not living a fulfilled life is when we don't focus or we don't work on our dreams and aspirations. We've talked about this in other episodes. Uh, procrastination is one of the killers, like the major killers of our dreams, and or, or the one something that always draws us back. Anytime we try to work on ourselves, anytime we are trying to build something or we want to step to the next level, majority of us have a weakness where we're always procrastinating. We're always putting things uh, to the side, and we are like, "Oh, I'm gonna get back to it whenever I have time." Because I feel like every day we wake up and we have the gift of life, we we tend to procrastinate or put things to the side because we feel like we're in control of what's going to happen tomorrow. We live in an illusion where we feel like we know what our future holds, but the reality is none of us know if we are going to be there even tomorrow. And we always have to remind ourselves about that. Stop living this life as if it's a rehearsal. Stop living as if we have three or four other lifetimes where we're going to come back and now live it to the fullest. So that's why we are just practicing how tomorrow is going to be. No. The fact of the matter, the fact of the matter is if you do your research, all the greatest, all the people who left a legacy on this thing called earth, 
they came onto this universe and lived to their fullest. They sacrificed their time and effort and focused entirely on doing the things that actually impacted people's lives. They had a goal, they had a vision, they had a purpose, and they made sure that every single day they woke up, they were going to make it count. The truth of the matter is, the reason why you haven't accomplished your goals, the reason why you're not where you want to be in life, the reason why you haven't even acquired the assets, the things that you're always saying you're going to do, or you made the... the, the, the or even made the trips around the world and visited the things on your bucket list is because you're still settling in your comfort zone. It's because you keep on pushing the things that matter to you to the side and hoping to get to them whenever you have time. We don't even prioritize our life no more. We are so caught up on social media checking out what other people are doing that we're neglecting the most important things in our life. We are so caught up in, in, in checking out uh, what who, who's dating who, like we are more interested in other people's life more than our own life. We are caught up in, in a trap where all that, the things that matters to us are the things that other people are doing. Oh, so and so just bought a new car. How am I going to be able to max out my credit card to be able to buy a car just like them? Instead of thinking of how am I going to be able to come up with a solution of other people's problem and be able to generate wealth by doing that so that I can live a, a, a free life, a financially free life. All we're worried about is what's the new trend? What's the new challenge so we can jump on it and be able to trend on social media or be able to trend out here? You have to ask yourself, what does that add on to your life? If it doesn't add any value to your purpose and vision in life, then don't do it. I know you've all had people uh, put out these posts or even seen the testimonials of people who decided to focus on their life for six months where they shut down any noise from outside and entirely focused on their goals and aspiration. It might be someone who wanted to work on their on their fitness journey and they decided I'm going to stop eating uh, junk, I'm going to stop doing this and this and they focus entirely on working out they created a, a, a routine they they created a meal plan they created a, a system on how they were going to be able to work and also spend some time working on the on their physique and their body and within a few months they were actually able to see the results because trust me it doesn't happen in one day you have to put in the work you have to sacrifice your time and effort you have to create time in your busy schedule to at least have time to spend with yourself. So nothing great or nothing good comes easy. We have to sacrifice and put some effort for us to be able to become successful. Like I always say, you are your biggest enemy. You are the reason why you're not able to accomplish all your goals and aspirations because you want to stay in your comfort zone. You want to stay where everybody is, is, is like you the, on the same level with everyone. We no longer want to be trailblazers. We just want to conform to the system. We just want to conform to, uh, I would say, like the level that society has, has placed us on. Anytime you want to venture out there and experience life more, you become scared. You're scared of what's going to happen. Why do we always do this to ourselves? If we know there's a blueprint out there for people who've been able to step out of their comfort zone, for the people who've been able to stop living in fear and they've gone out there and done great things and inspired us, if we know what they were able to do, well, how comes we don't even at least try to emulate the blueprint and add our own spice or add our own vibe into it and see what comes out of it? It's sad seeing all these great people out here that have so much potential dying with all these dreams, with all these great things that they would have been able to accomplish just because they decided to settle in their comfort zone. I want to encourage you. 
to work on your passion. I want to encourage you to work on your purpose in life. I want to encourage you to write that book that you've been putting away for the longest time. Work on that business that you know deep inside is always nagging. Like every time you wake up, the voice inside you is like, yeah, so when are you going to be working on this? You've been saying since you are like 15, 16 years old that you want to become a great athlete, that you want to be able to become a great movie star, you want to become an actor, but you're always scared of what other people are going to think about you. You are ashamed of who you are because of the tone of your skin or because of of your body type or because of what other people are always saying or because of what a teacher said when you're in elementary school and now you're, whole, you're, like, you're a grown-up. Why do we let other people's words hold us from accomplishing our goals and, and, and aspirations in life? I challenge you in 2022 to step out of your comfort zone, to not settle for mediocre and go out there and follow your passion in life and follow your purpose and try to live a meaningful life and tell me at the end of it all if you're not going to be successful. I challenge you, just try, just venture out, go out there because tomorrow is never promised. Like we live a life as if uh, we are in control, like it's like we are, it's a rehearsal. It's like we're just rehearsing in this lifetime and then we're going to have another chance in another lifetime to be able to live our dreams and aspirations. That's a lie, man. When you wake up, like I said the other day, every single year we have 365 days to live to the fullest. 24 hours every single day that's given to each and every one. No matter what level of life you're in. And that's the beauty of it. We all have the same time. It's given to the rich, it's given to the middle class, it's given to the poor. It's given to the white, to the blacks, it, no matter the, what race you, you're from, it doesn't matter. We all have 365 days and 24 hours a day to live life to the fullest. So how are you using your life? How are you using the hours that you have to maximize your potential and be able to tap into your purpose and meaning in life? I made it my, 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 I, I decided last year that I'm going to step out here and become vocal about the stories of great people who aspired to be great and were able to accomplish things in life. I want to tell their stories because we need to hear these stories more so we can be encouraged, so we can be challenged to become the best version of myself. I'm also working on myself because by doing this, I'm refining my, my craft. As a designer, I'm refining my craft. I'm becoming an editor. And the thing is, I did not let I did not let my excuse hold me from doing anything because if I would have given myself the excuse of oh how are you gonna be doing this, you don't even know how to edit, you don't even know how to to, to edit the music, edit the videos, how are you gonna be able to do all this and you don't even have a team? Guess what? I decided I'm going to do it all by myself. And as time goes by, then when the time comes, I'll have a team. I'll have an editor. I'll have someone behind the camera to do all this other stuff. But as for now, if I have to do it, then I'm doing it all by myself. I'm the editor. I'm the designer. I'm the content creator. I'm the host. Like I'm doing all these things so that I can get out of my comfort zone. I had to stop. I had to step out of my fears. I had to step out of my comfort zone and put myself out there so that I can learn. And guess what? I'm enjoying it because I'm using all this to be able to impact people's life in a positive way. So what's your excuse now? What excuses are you telling yourself that's stopping you from becoming the best version of yourself or venturing out there and doing what you're supposed to be doing? Let me hear them. Like, for real, let me hear your excuses. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Your excuses are not going to take you to the next level. For every excuse you're trying to tell yourself, ask yourself, what benefits are you going to reap by stepping out of your comfort zone? The benefits are always going to outweigh your excuses. Any great person you know, they did not count on their excuses if anything they disregarded what uh, 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 the excuses were and still stepped out of their comfort zone and were able to go out there and accomplish all the great things yo let me tell you every time i wake up and look at because i have a community where we are all uh 
building our podcast shows. I'm, every time I go into that community and see all these great people doing all these great things, I'm fired up. I'm fired up because I'm like, you know what? You're not all by yourself. You're not alone in this world. We are all in a, we are all on a mission to impact people's life in one way or another because the market is so broad there are so many topics that we can all go out there and venture out and be able to impact people's life through those topics so there's no limit to creativity there's no limit to 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 all the great things that we can do out there so stop worrying about what other people are going to think about you you have greatness in you don't settle for less because you're meant for greatness. Wake up every day and make each and every day count. So I want to encourage you to live a meaningful life. Don't worry about what the other people are doing. Everybody is meant to chart their own path. Do your part. One step at a time, one single day at a time. And as time goes by, you will become better. You start from just being mediocre to become better and then you become greater and become the best. But there's no way you're going to be able to make a journey of a thousand miles by just sitting down. You have to start with that one step. And then keep on moving no matter what comes your way. Keep on grinding, keep on refining yourself, keep on connecting with like-minded people, keep on mentoring yourself or connecting with people who have better skills that, than you and tap into their information, tap into their knowledge and learn from them. But the most important thing I'm going to encourage you is never give up on yourself. Don't settle for less and don't settle in your comfort zone. Don't be scared or fearful of things that are unknown. Don't worry about where, uh, don't worry about your background, where, how your past was. Because I believe in life, it's not how you start, it's how you finish that really matters. Don't worry about the naysayers and the people who are always reminding you about the past, about the things that you did 10, 20 years ago. Nah, live today as if you have a new day. It's a present. It's today. You've never seen another day like today. So when you wake up and you have the gift of life, go out there and be the best version of yourself. Work on your vision. Work on your goals. Work on your brand. Work on your business. Work on that book that you've been saying you're going to write and become New York's, uh, New York's bestseller. Whatever field you're in in life, work on it. Just make sure that at the end of it, when you retire to your bed, you've impacted people's life. You feel like you fulfilled because you went out there and put yourself out there without limitations, without holding back. So, I just want to challenge you this week to try and figure out what your meaning is in life and live a meaningful life. So, don't settle for less. As always, this is the Ownership and Greatness Show, and I just want to encourage you to continue working on your purpose and dream. I have a couple of uh, great guests lined up for this year, and I'm super pumped up because they are going to be able to share with us great stories of how they were able to start from, from, from nothing, and now they've been able to accomplish so much. So be encouraged. You're doing something great. Whatever you're working on, it's going to enable you to step into the next level of your life. So don't give up on yourself. Never doubt your dream and aspiration. You are one of one. And the universe is waiting for you to help us solve the problems that we have. The universe is waiting for you to step out of your comfort zone, to venture out and become a beacon of hope to the people out there. So, hope to link up with you guys next week on our next episode of Ownership and Greatness. It's been a blessing. It's a new year. We are not going to settle for less. We are going to work hard and put out the work that's necessary to take us to the next level. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate the ones that have actually done that. Ring the bell so you can always get the notification every time we drop a new episode. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Ownership and Greatness Show on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And also, you can connect with us on all podcast platforms at Ownership and Greatness. 
tap in and we'll be able to continue building a community and sharing this positive vibe in 2022. Go out there and continue being great. Don't settle for less. You are meant for greatness. Peace and I'm out. Thank you. Ownership and greatness.